the drive-in. Once the site of lurid celluloid fantasies, it's now the site of an art exhibition. And yet, it's the search for closure rather than culture that brings the champion of light here. It's you. Mmm, that's fantastic. Are you okay? Go away. No, I want you. But you'll get angry if you're here. So you gotta go. You know I'll do what you want. Okay. I, I love you so much. Did you know that love hurts? Are you gonna hurt me now? Cause you should. Lady... You got darkness on the brain. I, I think I can help you if I can get the lights on in here. You can't turn the power back on. It's not allowed. You said. So where shouldn't I go so I don't turn the power back on accidentally? It's the big building on the other side of the drive-in, but it's locked. Where's the key? Just so that I know to avoid it. It's... It's on the wall, next to the cash register. But you can't. You can't. Don't be bad. Hey, no problem. I'm just gonna go do some mother stuff. Scout's honor. Mm. Just try to stay calm. I I've seen this kind of thing before. I think you're gonna be okay. Why did I... Why is it so hard to think? You've been touched by darkness. It's... I'm hoping it's not permanent. Remember when you were here before, and you kissed me, and then everything got all dark? That was the best. Listen, this is very important. Where did he... I mean, where did I go? Can you tell me that? Baby, you don't need to go anywhere. You're here now, and you're in my head. You should be in me. You should touch me again. Not with a ten-foot pole, lady. Hey, just in case there's a part of you in there that's freaking out right now, it's not your fault. I promise I'll do what I can to help you, okay? I... I don't... Please go away. Don't sweat it. I'm just saying that in case you really need to hear it, I've been there. I... I think there are spiders in my eyes. I think you put them in me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go now. And we're back with old gods of Asgard and their manager, Barry Wheeler. Guys, you're on your comeback tour, and you're playing a lot of your classic material. But you also got a new single out, right? How'd that come about? Was it hard to go back into the studio after such a long time? Are you kidding me? They were chomping at the bit. They were just itching to stretch those creative muscles. Now, it had been a while because, uh, you know, they, they spent a lot of time in, uh... Retirement. We were retired. We were? Yeah. No, 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 no. We were at the lodge and, uh... We escaped. We were at the retirement, uh... Thing. Retirement thing. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, really, once we got in the studio, things started happening. Now, the music has changed a little bit, and the boys were a little rusty, so it took us a while to find the right gear, but hey, once we got going, whoo, boy, they kicked ass. And it's an awesome song. It's called Balance Slays the Demon, and seriously, I think it's their finest work. And hey, I should know, I produced it. Oh, really? I didn't know you were a producer. Well, this is my first time. I mean, they needed a little bit of guidance, you know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, these guys are the best. But it's the 21st century, man. Things just sound a little different these days. So, you know, I kind of stepped in there, helped them make it sound all cool, kind of jazzed it up. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Oh, no, it was really easy, man. I was just, you know, like, hey, give it a little zing, you know? Let's take it to another level so it really rips. Uh, you know, let's just throw some really sweet synths in. Like that, you know, just kicked it up a notch, but it's totally old gods. Well, listeners, you can judge for yourselves. Here's Old Gods of Asgard, and Balance Slays the Demon. Oh, yeah! <laughs> 
The man has encountered this before. People whose integrity has been suborned by the insidious touch of the darkness. He has experienced it himself, but merciful light burned away the darkness in his brain. here. You ready to save the day? It's been two years since I came here. Being that long without Alice breaks my heart, and I know it broke hers. I know she thinks I'm dead. How could I blame her for that? It would be a crime to pretend that she owes me anything. She took all the stupid, self-indulgent bullshit I brought into her life and still stood by me, still loved me. It's no betrayal. But I'm a better person now than I used to be. I want to be that person with her.
are gonna shit yourself when you realize what I have done. Shut up! Alice, my wife, the best thing that ever happened to me. She smiles and the darkness lifts. For her, I tried things I otherwise never would. I've never really minded if it's made me feel like a fool. She's a photographer, and the world she sees through her lenses is unique and beautiful. She has the vision. She sees things others don't and knows how to make them visible to everybody. She did it with me, too. She teased out things I was only vaguely aware of. She always saw me in the best possible light. should be able to figure this out.
you have no idea how badly you're screwed. It's gonna be a blast to watch you find out. Don't wanna get hit by those. The car seemed to sail through the crisp mountain air in slow motion, spinning around one axis almost lazily. The moment was hypnotic. Then it struck the pipeline in a shower of sparks, the impact turning the windshield into a burst of safety glass. As it hit the ground, I snapped out of my reverie. The car was rolling downhill, slowing down as every bump killed momentum but still coming. The fence wouldn't be enough to stop it. dark. I can smell you. I can smell you out there. Ah! No, don't. Oh, it's not. It's you. Did, did you help me? Looks like you're feeling better now. Yes, I am. Thank you so much. I don't know what happened. There was this guy. Before you say anything, I know I look like him, but I'm not. Don't worry. You just don't feel anything like he does. He was in my head. I feel like I need to take 50 showers. Where is he? That asshole wanted to get into the projector booth. He was talking about fixing things so the sun never comes up. God. It didn't seem that weird when he was saying it. It sounded really good at the time. You weren't yourself. The projector booth. That sounds about right. I need to get in there. I have the access code for the door. Here. Thanks. I'm just glad you showed up now. He said he'd be back after he'd arranged for some security. Do you feel up to telling me what's going on here? We have an art exhibition here, supposed to open tomorrow. I'm the curator. My name's Serena Valdivia. Alan Wake. 
Holy shit, it is you. I didn't... I mean, I've seen you on the big screen. I... I know your wife. You know Alice? Wait. Big screen? Yeah, we have a film from her here. What the hell happened to you? Getting back to Alice. Oh, God, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's quite a coincidence that you're here. She made this short film. I mean, she shot it years ago. You're in it. It's a part of the exhibition. I'm in a film? Yeah, it's like... I mean, it's just footage she shot of you at some point, but she turned it into this... thing. It's, a uh, almost like a memorial of sorts, because, you know, you're supposed to be dead, or... something. Uh-huh. How's Alice? Is she alright? She's... okay, I guess, all things considered. I know her pretty well. You're really Alan? I can't believe you're here. Nobody knows what happened to you. But there are people who say they've seen you. That wasn't me. He just looks the same. Like, you know. Yeah, but that guy's a lot more slimy. The thought of him makes me... I hate him, but I... There's something about him, this... God, he's so creepy. Anyway, you're not like him. At all. I hope you can stop him. My right ear's block got worse. I didn't sleep much anymore. My life with Alice seemed like a constant fight. I was a wreck. Alice took steps. She booked a vacation in Bright Falls, a small town in Washington. It was supposed to be a chance to break out of the cycle I was in. She didn't know about the darkness in Cauldron Lake. That's the security system? I guess it was too much to hope for an alarm. The Champion of Light can feel the fragment of the signal in his pocket, the weapon that can change what will be. It's incomplete, but it's all he has.
going right. <laughs> You've been up to something, haven't you? Too bad it's not gonna do any good. I'm a better you than you ever will be! And I've got all the time in the world. Everything you've got is going to be mine! Your life! Your wife! <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? The sun's never coming up now. I can keep this up forever! Show yourself! Whatever you say! 